Hi, this is Corey Kendrick with Norvice. Uh, this afternoon, we're going to be tying a crab fly using the Sightcast Fly Fishing Easy Crab Shells. Uh, this is a really effective fly for redfish. Uh, the guys at Norvice have had good success with it up on the East Coast, and it works just as good in the Florida Panhandle. So, this is a good one, and it's easy to tie. We'll start with a Arex SA220 in size two, I'm using the Norvice shank jaws in the offset hub, the standard offset hub. So the reason I'm using the shank, shank jaws on this is so I can access into the bend a little bit. I'm using UTC uh, fluorescent orange thread, 210. So I'll go ahead and start a thread base. Come back about the about the width of the eye back from the eye. so about right there. We're gonna tie in some large olive bead chain eyes. You can use gold, um, just like olive because it kind of matches the color scheme of this fly. It's kind of gonna be a little olive uh, blue crab looking fly when it's done. We'll just get those X wrapped on. Make sure they're good and secure. And then we'll come in with our thin super glue. dot bottom and top to secure those eyes really lock those eyes in because that's the that's the base of your fly if those come loose everything else is coming unraveled okay at this point I'm gonna reposition my hook in the jaws just a little bit I'm gonna come in with some raid zap fluorescent orange flex resin Bottle's getting close to it being empty, so. And I'm gonna make, and I do this on most of my crustacean flies, I make a hot spot with resin. For two reasons, one is durability. This is this is a lot more durable than a, a dubbing ball hot spot or a chenille hot spot. It's gonna hold up to more fish. And it doesn't have to be huge. I made that one a little big, but it doesn't have to be huge. We'll hit it with our light. Okay, so there's our base for our fly. This is pretty much my standard base for crustacean flies. Eyes may change, but this is pretty much it. Okay, next step, we're gonna tie in our tail or claw, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna take some light olive Arctic Fox. Just a small amount. This is Arctic Fox tail. This is not Arctic Fox body hair, so it's pretty, it's pretty long, it's got it's just nice long fibers, but we're not gonna need all that length. And I'm gonna pull out some of these guard hairs because we don't need those. Not all of them, just some of them. Okay. Don't want a huge tail on this fly. It doesn't need to be, but about, and this is kind of my standard also. 
about a shank and a half. It's all the tail you need. So I'm gonna work my thread back to that ball of resin. I'm going to tie my tail in. So there we've got our tail tied in. You can kind of adjust those fibers. But I'll come in, trim my excess, and then cover up those butt ends. Now at this point, I'm gonna come in and bar this tail. First, I'm going to use a dark olive marker. Make three bars. And they don't have to be super dark, just, just so they show up a little bit. And then, I'm also going to come in and between those bars, I'm going to give just a slight little bit of blue. Since this is going to be a blue crab. Okay. Our next step will be to tie in a piece of 20 pound fluorocarbon. And this is what we're going to use to make the keel for our fly so it rides point up. So we'll tie that on top of the shank. You wanna keep that straight on top of the shank. You don't want it to roll to either side. Tie that all the way back to where you tied the Arctic Fox in and then tug it forward pretty hard so it stands out like that. So it's out of your way. Make sure you cover that up good. Now we're going to flip the fly. And our next step is we're going to add... No, we're not going to have the easy shrimp pies yet. Okay, our next step is going to be our dubbing loop. So we're going to make a loop. We're going to wrap that back. to the tail. Take a dub and loop hook. I'm gonna go ahead and get my bobbin out of the way so I'm gonna take it across the thread post. Okay, this is what we're gonna put in our dub and loop. This is semi-sealed dubbing and it's a semi seal dubbing in Peacock and Senos Shaggy Dub. So it's like little micro rubber legs. This is going to be a buggy little fly. So I've already pre mixed those two dubbings together. I'm going to put that inside my loop. I'm going to begin to spread it out inside the loop. And this is just like making a brush except with thread. I'll spin that up. And see we made a little rubber leggy brush there. Pick it out a little bit. And then we'll start rolling it on the body of our fly. And between each, between each revolution, I like to come in and pull the fibers back as I go. So 
so we don't trap as many. And you can come in with a bodkin and pick them back out, but it's easier. The less you have trapped, the easier it is. Let's make one more round. Okay, we're gonna come back now with our bobbin. And catch that tag end of that loop. Couple of wraps. Trim that loop away. And then we're going to clean that up a little bit. And I'll come back in with my wire brush and pick that out a little bit. See, we didn't trap a whole lot of those rubber legs because it took my time wrapping that. If you just roll it on there, you're going to trap all of these little these little guys. And you're just going to make a mess and not have a buggy fly. So now, I'm going to have flip the fly as it would ride in the water. I'm going to take a pair of easy shrimp eyes. These are blue. And I'm going to place those right up against that dub and loop collar. Make sure they stay on top of the hook. Sometimes they won't roll. Just make a few wraps and adjust them back. And on this fly, we're gonna have a little tag in back here. So I'm gonna come in with my old scissors here. Trim that off. So I can cover that up cleanly with thread because we're gonna need a thread base to glue to. Then I'm gonna grab these eyes, and pull them back so they spread out a little bit. So that's gonna be the top of your fly. If the fish is looking down on it, he's gonna see those eyes. Okay, next step is gonna be our rubber legs. Let me grab these that have blue tips on them. And we're gonna need two rubber legs because we're using some that have blue tips on them. These are sidecast marsh legs. So after I clean my thread base up, I'm gonna work right back to where I tied those eyes in, right back to that collar. And I'm gonna take my rubber leg, wrap it around my thread, even my tips up, and I'll tie that in right up against that collar. And I'll do the same on the other side. That's the great thing about the normal vice bobbin. You can just slide right in there because it retracts that thread. Now we've got our legs tied in and these are long right now. These would foul right now. So we're gonna come in once again with our old scissors and trim those guys. Well, we've still got some blue tea up out there. But not excessively long where they're going to foul. Okay. Reach and grab.
grab some glue. I'm going to reposition my hook in the vise just a little bit. And this is another plus uh, that I've, I've found out myself using these shank jaws, these straight pointed jaws. I will show you all in just a minute. And these crab shells. So what you want is a little bit of this jaw protruding over their fly. Because when you tie this crab shell in by its little tab, we'll tie that in. And once again, these little guys are super easy to use. Just tie that in. Don't have to make a whole bunch of wraps on it. But we are going to have to glue this down. So when we glue this, To hold it while it cures, we'll tuck it under the nose of those jaws. So I'm gonna take my thread back in front of front of the eyes there. And we'll go across the thread post. Drop my glue, but we're okay. Now I'm going to take some E6000. This is the same thing I glue eyes on bait fish flies with. It's flexible when it cures, so it, uh, it holds really good. It's a lot better product to use for stuff like this than super glue. Super glue breaks down over time in water and this stuff does not. So we're just going to take a toothpick and apply a strip of that glue on the bottom of that body. And like I showed you before, we'll just tuck that under those jaws like so, and this stuff cures quick. It's not a long time you're gonna have to wait on it. But while we're waiting on it, we'll continue to work on our fly. So we'll bring that thread back. Get my glue palette out of the way. we have our 20 pound fluorocarbon and on it we're going to string four three millimeter beads these are hairline tungsten greedy beads one two three four we're going to take the tag end of that and go through the eye of the hook. And tie that down. So th this is going to flip your fly. This is going to keel it and make it ride hook point up. And it's going to rattle a little bit, which redfish kind of like, so. We'll flip the fly over and tie that monofilament, or I mean that fluorocarbon down on the other side. Come in with our old scissors and trim that off. And I am going to tie a weed guard on this one. 
just because a lot of people want to throw these in grass. So I'm going to take a little piece of 20 pound Mason hard mono. I'll make a loop and I'll pinch that loop. So we make a V out of the hard mono. I'll flip that fly over and I'll come across the nose of the fly with that loop and I'll wrap behind it three four three or four times and then I'll wrap in front of it three or four times and then I will come under the eye with my finger pull that down splay the weed guard out a little bit and I will come in and whip finish two whip finishes on here. Cap my bobbin off. Trim my thread. Flip that back over. Trim my weed guard slightly longer than my point. And then I will come in with some hard as whole. I don't use UV a lot because UV kind of flakes off. So all right, it flakes off of exposed thread. It's not it doesn't soak in like this stuff does. We want to coat all that exposed thread that we can get to with it. So we have a nice durable fly. And that's really all there is to that little guy. Got a little rattle to it. So, and you can come in with markers. And touch this shell up if you want to. This marker's about dry, so it's not really working, but. Uh, you can touch that shell up with markers. I've got pictures of what they look like with a little touch up on them. But that's your basic fly. All right, I appreciate y'all watching. Have a good evening.